I've been working in Mariposa for the last three months on PG&E's 10K program. Every time I drive to work, it reminds me of where I grew up. When I think of the place that I grew up, I have fond memories, but when I think of my childhood itself, it is heartbreaking. I was born and raised in Yolo County, so Northern California, about 10 minutes outside of Vacaville. As a child, it was hard. I had a younger brother, but it was really just me, myself, and I, and that's how I grew up, you know, taking care of myself and, and knowing that no one was in my corner behind me. I left home when I was 15, and I never looked back. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I finished high school, I got a job, I started working, and in 2011 I saw an opportunity to move to the Bay Area. Moved up there to go to automotive school. I was successful, I was able to, to complete the program, but I was, unfortunately I was not able to get a job. Um, it was really frustrating. Um, and so in the mix of all that, of trying to find my place and you know working odd jobs, I uh, got an idea to join the military, join the Navy Reserve. And I, I signed up and nine months later, I was shipped off to Chicago for boot camp. I was trained as a hull technician, so sheet metal work, pipe fitting, welding, brazing. Coming back, I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna get a job as a welder or a brazer or I'll work at the shipyard or something, and nothing materialized. Uh, and I, I, felt, I felt disheartened again. I got married in May of 2020, and immediately after, in July of 2020, I was deployed to Washington. I got to work with machines and big equipment, and I, I got to build things and contribute to things, and it was, it was beautiful. I had 15-month orders. Um, I was able to serve 10. I, I got called home early, which was a great opportunity. I, I was happy to be home, but at the same time, I was coming home to, um, to nothing, really. When I reached out to Swords to Plowshares and I got partnered with a caseworker, she put me on the list and a couple weeks later she had called me and she personally wanted me to apply to this pg e Power Pathway program. And, and I didn't believe her at first. I was like, it's, it's pg e like no one gets into pg e it's, it's impossible, it's like a dream job. I think there was about 150, 160 applicants and uh, very few women and I was one of the ones that was chosen. It was a class of 15 and it was a 10 week rigorous, rigorous course load. It was, um, it was hard, uh, but at the same time, I knew there was a lot of opportunity on the other side of it. And I could see that this was not just a job, it was a career. It was something that I could retire from. It was someplace I could land and be on my feet and, and provide for my family. The same month that I got hired with PG&E, I was able to buy a house with my VA loan, which was amazing, an absolute blessing. And I've been working with PG&E ever since. Everything that I was chasing as a child and as a young adult came to fruition after I graduated from Power Pathway. I was able to find something that I truly love and I was able to find pride in my work. I was able to stand taller and have a bigger smile and, um, and really find happiness. I feel, I feel solid, I feel like I'm in bedrock. I have a secure footing in my life and it's a beautiful feeling.